Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. We're doing some client choice charity updates. I um, wonder if my live is working. It's looking a little suspicious. I hope it is. I think we're good. I think we're good. Well, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ashley, and I am the transaction coordinator for Lake Life Realty here in Moultonboro. And I am hopping on here today to give the first client choice charity update of the new year. Very excited about this. I think we're going to do really great things this year. Um, if you're new here and you're just tuning in, um, our Client Choice Charity Program is a program for um, all of our transactions, whether it's a buyer or a seller, we donate a portion of our commission to a charity of our clients choosing. Um, we've gotten the chance to donate to so many different local, national, and international charities with this program. It's, it's been really, really great. Uh, since the start of the new year, we've donated to four different charities, and I will tell you about them now. So the first charity is the Loon Preservation Committee. Um, they are located in Moultonboro, New Hampshire. And the Loon Preservation Committee is an organization that began in 1975 in response to the decline in loon population um, and the effects of uh, human activities on loons. Um, their mission is to restore and maintain a healthy loon population. Uh, in the Lakes region, and the Loon Pro um, Preservation Committee just had a, a wonderful success story, actually, um, where they rescued a flock of 10 loons that were stuck on Lake Winnipesaukee. Um, they had decided to stay a little late in the season, and then they lost their flight feathers and couldn't leave. So um, the Loon Preservation Committee got out there, and they rescued the loons, and they took them to Rye on the seacoast um, and release them so they can hang out there until it's warm and they can come back. So I think that's really, really great. Um, and uh, so the loons were rescued. We love the Loon Preservation Committee. Um, and we're glad we get to donate to them. So if you would like more information about the Loon Preservation Committee, um, please feel free to visit www.loon.org. And we donated $350 in support of the Loon Preservation Committee. Uh, our second charity of the morning is the American Liver Foundation. Uh, they are located in West Orange, New Jersey. Um, the American Liver Foundation is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to promote the education, advocacy, support services, and res research for the prevention, treatment, and cure of liver disease. Uh, this organization has been promoting liver health, or liver health and liver disease prevention since 1976, and continue to help support and educated, educate those affected by it. If you need more information about the American Liver Foundation or would like to donate to their cause, please visit www.liverfoundation.org. And in support of the American Liver Foundation, we have donated $150. Our next charity is the ASPCA. Um, fun fact, this is one of the oldest chari like charity organizations ever. Um, I don't have an exact date, but I know it is one of the oldest, at least one of the oldest in the country. I'll just, I'll just make that statement. I think that's really cool. Um, if anybody's curious, I can get you exact information. But uh, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is the first humane society to be established in North America and is today one of the largest in the world. This organization was founded on the belief that animals are entitled to respectful treatment at the hands of humans and must be protected under the law. Um, if you would like to learn more about the ASPCA, um, you're interested in donating or would like to adopt, please visit www.aspca.org. And we donated $100 to support the ASPCA. Our last charity of the morning 
is the Lakes Region Humane Society. We love our humane societies. Furry friends are are everything. So um, the Lakes Region Humane Society is located in Ossipee, New Hampshire. Um, since 1995, the Lakes Region Humane Society has been providing shelter for lost, abused, and unwanted animals. The LRHS works with ta the towns of Tuftonboro, Ossipee, Wolfboro, Wakefield, and Effingham. Please don't come for me. I don't know how to say a lot of the towns around here. Um, they take in pets who are surrendered by their owners or brought in as strays. They ensure that once a pet is checked into the shelter, they receive quality food, shelter, grooming, enrichment, and lots of love. Um, well, they seek out a perfect forever home for them. Every pet adopted from LRHS is fully vaccinated, either spayed or neutered, and completely healthy. If you would like more information about them or would like to donate or adopt, uh, please visit www.lrhs.net. And we donated $150 to the Lakes Region Humane Society in support of our furry friends. So before I give you the total of um, how much we've donated to so far, I just want to touch base on something I mentioned a couple weeks ago. Um, we last Thursday had our um, Make-A-Wish call-in drive charity event. And I just wanted to give you guys an update that it was very successful. We had a wonderful time. We had so many amazing people call us. And we ended up raising over $5,000 for Make-A-Wish New Hampshire. So uh, I think that was really amazing. It was very successful. We had a great time, as always. Um, so that is that. Now, um, with the four donations that have been made so far this year, um, we are starting off the year strong, and we've donated $750 so far. So we're getting even closer to the $100,000 mark since the start of the Client Choice Charity Program. So really excited about that. I'm trying to brainstorm on things to celebrate when we hit $100,000. So um, if anybody has any ideas, let me know. And that's all I have for today. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your week.